Today's video was brought to you by Aniba.com. Aniba.com is a digital marketplace with over 20,000 digital products. And with an ever expanding library, it's the go to point for all your gaming needs. Aniba will bring you the hottest deals in the market on titles new or old, and with an excellent Trustpilot score, you can buy with confidence. So, whether you play on Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, you're sure to find something that suits your needs. Navigation of the website is very easy. Search via operating system, game genre, and region. You can also create your own wish list and grab those deals at a later time. Aniba is here to help with product activation, payment, product delivery, and other issues should the need arise with their 24 7 live support. So, save some money and grab a great deal with Aniba.com. Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'll be playing some Forza Motorsport 8. Now I just watched an interesting video from Digital Foundry showing how you can play the game with um, ray tracing, ambient occlusion and while in game. And it makes such a difference that I was curious to see how the game performed with this mod enabled. So I'm just going to quickly go through the in-game settings, playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 everything's at maximum settings ultra now when it comes to uh anti-aliasing i've gone with dlss at quality so there will be some upscaling because there's such heavy ray tracing this does help with performance um so full reflections and rtao everything's at ultra as you can see and by the way you should always set all your settings to ultra prior to doing a mod i believe that's the way you do it correctly but as you can see, the game's fully maxed out. So what I'm just going to do is a race, three laps around Spa Francorchamps, and um, it's going to be playing at like a, a fair difficulty, nothing really serious. And I believe there's going to be 23 cars on track as well. So uh, should be interesting. I'm going to put my OSD up. So this is MSI Afterburner. And um, we've read between the statistics server for those who don't know. Okay, I'm going to try and get a good start here. The AI is super aggressive on this game, so you really got to try and be aggressive yourself, but at the same time, be mindful. I don't want to absolutely destroy my car. Now what I've noticed about the ray tracing um, ambient occlusion, it really shows on the track considerably on the racing line. The racing line's a lot more elaborate, I would say. And not only that, you'll find um, that the clouds give shadows in certain areas as well. So it, it really does feel a lot more realistic than the default settings that they use. Now, I don't know why this option isn't officially supported, but it certainly makes the game look better, in my opinion. There are some bugs. Of course, it's not perfect, but it'd be cool if Turn 10 saw this and actually implemented an official um, version of this, this mod into the game. Okay, so not the worst start in the world we've got some catching up to do for sure the brakes are so sharp on this this Cadillac as long as you don't lock up it does brake pretty well but it's so easy to lock the brakes I want to at least try and get on the podium if I can so yeah the racing line and the track itself just looks far more realistic and trying to stay in a slipstream of this car here. I think that's a, uh, I'm not too sure what that is. But so I can get the overtake here. I'm going to try and outbreak him. I think that's an MC12. Ah, just a little bit too hot on the brakes, but not a massive impact. It certainly wasn't a very clean overtake. Yeah, I think that was a Maserati MC12, possibly. Got another Cadillac ahead of me. 
So in areas like this with the grandstand, all of the lighting is a lot more accurate. You can see that all of the spectators are in a dark shadow. Whereas before they'll be all fully lit. And even massive shadows across the track while there's two trees on either side. So the lighting's a lot more accurate than the default and you wouldn't think you would notice all of these things while racing at high speed but it really is noticeable just a little bit too hot on the brakes there but i think i can get ahead of this cadillac that's ahead of me it's got great handling it's just works a lot better if you can drive it fast when you're driving too slow the uh, downforce doesn't work too well Even in areas like this, I don't remember the track having such a pronounced racing line. You can really see where the cars are driving rather than not driving. So I'm, I don't remember it being so pronounced or elaborate, but I think the ambient occlusion adds to that as well. Again, the cloud cover adding shadows. You can see we're in a lot of darkness here and then it just brightens up again when the cloud cover goes so yeah I think it's certainly noticeable and it really really improves the look of the game even the reflections on the car look um, a lot more intense okay a little bit too far away to get into the slipstream but I think I'll catch him by the, the start finishing line first corner I can outbreak him here. Have a nice run at him. For the start finishing line. Try not to bump into him. You want to do this clean. Okay, just stay in the slipstream here. Outbreak him and try and Final lap. You got this. run on the inside. I'm going to do this clean as I can. Yeah. The final lap, so I think this will be the final overtake if I'm able to. And hopefully this will put me on the podium, possibly. AI seems to be pretty rubbish at Eau Rouge. But I'll always make up time here. I well, know the AI has found some speed out of nowhere. I'm going to try and break at the 100 meter board. Try not to... Uh, Lock up the brakes. Made up some good time here. A little bit too aggressive. But I'm um, trying to stay on the racing line. I really want to get on the podium here. Wasn't the best line. I need to make up some time somewhere. Hopefully I don't get a penalty for that. Uh, it was okay, I didn't gain any time. Guess that was the conclusion by the AI. This area here being so dark, I don't remember that as well. But uh, of course, it all depends on the time of day you play. This is an evening race. Afternoon race, I think, actually. I'll be kicking myself if I don't get in front of this guy. Ah, uh, what a terrible corner. Yeah, I think I just messed that up. That was the corner that killed it for me. Yeah, I didn't race the best here. Just got a warning. It wasn't a penalty. Hey, I hang on. Hanged on. To that lead somehow. Good race, though. I haven't got too much experience driving this car, but decent race. I think I finished fourth or fifth. I'm not too sure. Yeah, fifth. I wouldn't have got on the podium anyway, even if I beat that guy. So all in all, I'm happy with that. But yeah, the game certainly looks a lot better with um, the ambient occlusion being ray traced in the actual game. But there are some issues, of course. Um, it's not perfect, but... Hopefully we'll get some official support for this. Pretty demanding though. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for me. 
Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.